extend my wishes for Hatzlach and and Bez Hashem. They should go Michael Chayel, more people, more learning, and um, and more learning of such serious nature where you really feel you you know what you're learning and so on. Um, I'd like to take a look a little bit at the concept of Bez Knesses. And since we've learned the halachis, I'd like to, a little bit to try to draw a picture of what Beis HaKnesses is. I'd first start by posing a bit of a question. The, the, the word Beis HaKnesses does not appear in Tanakh. There is a word, Beis Tefillah, Beis Beis Tefillah Yikar L'chol Amim. So would it make more sense to call it a Beis Tefillah? Why, why, how did the word Knesses get rolled in? It's a based filler, Mokum filler. It's a place where we want to daven, you daven. I guess maybe they want to be able to make Kiddushim also, so they needed to give it a name that would include other things, Kiddushim, events. But uh, seriously, why, why be Mishana and coin a new. Uh, uh, based Knesses is a Loshna Mishnah. Based filler is a Loshna of Tanakh. I would also like a little bit to ponder the nature of the word. There are a few words in Lashon Kodesh for gathering. There's Asifa, there's Kibbutz, there's Kinus. Um, it's interesting which one we picked. Um, the, um, I will try to come back to that. And I first want to look at some of the halachas, the way the Rambam presents it, and see if we don't pick up some different nuances about um, what a shul is. The way we understand it, it's as following. We have to daven every day. We should daven b'tzibur because it's a much better davening b'tzibur. It, it's it's, it's the, 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 the quality of the davening in terms of being answered and so on is better b'tzibur. And when you have many people davening, it's a big pain in the neck to have it in your house and in your basement. So we'll make a place where everybody comes and davens. That's the way we would understand. So for us, a shul is sort of a means where, a practical means where to have a minya davening. Once you have a minya davening there, it has certain ketushas, similar to, let's say, a, a, a film bag. So a film bag is not a halak necessity, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a necessity, and therefore it gets a certain ketusha. So the way we would picture the halak in our mind, the big picture is there's davening, there's Davin Bet Sibur, and if you happen to use a particular space dedicated for that, it gets certain Kedushas. If we look at the Rambam, it does not at all sound like that. The Rambam says, this is in Hilchus Tefillah, Perik Ches. Halacha Aleph, first Halacha. Tefillah Tzibur Nishmas Tomid. If you have a Tefillah of a Tzibur, it's always accepted by Kaddish Baruch Hu, even if there are Chaitim. Even if not everybody's worthy, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not Moise and Tfilas Tzibur. Lefikach, Tzorch Adam Shatam and Tzibur. That's why a person should have made a Tzibur. Nobody should feel confident that his Tfilas deserves to be accepted on his own. So it's appropriate to have made a Tzibur. V'lo yispalel b'yochid kol zman shechaz b'am Tzibur. And a person should not daven um, b'yochid if he can only daven be Tzibur. Up until this point, it fits exactly the picture we, we've made. Then he says, A person should always run to a shul. Because his tefillah will be accepted only in a shul. So what's that about? I mean, we just said, we said a person should always down with a minion, if possible. It's either redundant, or it means something else. And somebody who has a shul and he doesn't daven there is called a shachan ra. So again, he had, is this not repeating what he said in the first time around? One point that sort of stimulates us to think. Next point. It says, U mitzvah, halacha beis. U mitzvah lorutz lebeis haknesses. It's a mitzvah to run to the shul. Shenema v'neido nirdefodas Hashem. Um, we, we, will, we will learn to run to know HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I mean, what's it got to do with davening B'tzibur? And let's ask ourselves a question. 
If the Rambam is talking about when you're late for the minion, then you should run because you're late for davening. If the Rambam is talking about you're not late for davening, you have another 15 minutes, so running in at full force into the, into the shul, what's that about? I mean, let's, let's, let's put it a little bit differently. What's, what's the Kedusha? Imagine, let, let's, let's take a shul off the map. Let's say I tend to meet 10 people in my office building in the parking lot. We tend to meet in Nav Mincha. Is there a halacha that I should run to the parking lot? I mean, if I'm late for minyan, I should run to the minyan. But there's no, no, no halacha of running to the parking lot. So what kind of din is that? And when he leaves the shul, you should go slowly. Well, I mean, what's, again, I mean, we finished davening. No minyan, no davening, it's over with. What's this about? So we're beginning to get a certain sense from the Rambam that things may be different than we imagine. Let's look at some further halachas. And I hope that some of these halachas sound familiar to you. I'm not sure if it'll be on the test or not, but many of these halachas overlap with what the Mechaba, I hope not giving away any answers, uh, Rabbi Tebek. In, in Perik Yud Aleph, the Rambam says, Kol mokom mi Yisrael. Any time you have 10 Jews living somewhere, they need to make a shul. And people can force each other to build a shul. Now, this is something that is not so clear where it comes from. The halacha is... If we live together, let's say we have all the people living in an alleyway like this, they can force each other to build a wall that, that's common to, to put around an, an area like this. In other words, any common need that is usual and one or more of the residents want it, you can force each other. If nobody wants it, then you go home. This halach of shul is included in the Mishnah in that same framework. Um, it's one of the things people can force each other, meaning if nobody wants it, so let's take an example of the wall. If nobody cares for a wall, then there's no, Besan doesn't come in and force you to do it. Here, the Rambam goes a step further and he says, even if everybody is happy to meet in somebody's basement or in a parking lot, whatever it is, they need to do it before forcing each other. It says any place that has 10 people from Yisrael, they can um, force, they have to do it. That's something that is, a, um, is, is strange. The Rambam then proceeds to give different halachas about a shul and its setup. He says you put a table in the middle so that somebody should have where to lay in the Torah. And when the rabbi speaks, he should have where to say Joshua from. Is that a halacha? Or is, or is that a practical thing? You, you sit down with the architect. The architect says, Rabbi, what do you expect to do in the synagogue? We expect to pray. Great. What else? I like to speak. Okay, we need a place for you to speak. We want to lay the Torah. Why are all these halachas about what should be done? And the, the Rambam is coming off a Gemaras that speak about the Kedusha they have. But that Kedusha might be the result of the activities. In other words, the Shulchan that you're laying on has a Kedusha because you're laying on it, um, and so on. The Rambam interprets, and then he says, the way people have to sit, the Mizrach, people should sit in the front. The, 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 the sources for the Rambam here are not clear. The Rambam seems to be taking Gemaras that speak about the effect of the Kedusha, and he flips it around and makes this to be what has to be a priori in a shul. As if a shul has very specific setups. One more place, or two more places, where the Rambam mentions something about a shul that again um, arouses curiosity. There's a concept called tainus. And tainus is a public gathering on any time that there is a tzara in Klal Yisrael, there's a mitzvah on the tzibur to get together, and to engage in a tshuva type activity that includes fasting, different ways, Monday, Thursday, Monday, and so on, 
Um, and there's a whole structure that parts of Masechtas Tainis deal with this structure. So if you look at the Mishnah, this is the following structure. You have certain days that are set aside for a Tainis. You, um, you, in the, in, you, you daven in the morning. There are special tefillahs added to the, the, um, And then it says in the, in the, in the morning from Shachar Slomincha time, the elders of the city get together and they ask each other, what, what does the city need? What are issues, moral issues facing the city? And Rashi specifically points out people cheating on weights and measures and so on, and people stealing. And we try to rectify what needs to be rectified. And then you have mincha, you have the 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 the, 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 the sofa sometimes, a whole bunch of things. That the Rambam pretty much quotes. But the Rambam adds something that doesn't say in the Mishnah and the Gemara. The Rambam says the elders gather after Shachris in the shul and they and and they discuss the needs of the community and so on and so forth. That, that doesn't come from any source that we have. Um, so even assuming, let's assume the Rambam had it a source like, let's assume he had that girsa, then it still begs the question, why? They're not davening. They're sitting, they're deliberating, and they're discussing town's needs. So maybe the shul's a convenient place. Maybe the office is convenient. Maybe it's convenient to be away from it. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't require our suggestion. Once you tell the elders you have to get together and discuss the issues, well, they'll figure it out themselves where the best place to meet is. There's, especially since you don't have to give any refreshments and a tininess, they can meet in any place that has four walls. So, so what's the issue? Where did the Rambam come in with doing it in the shul, Dafka? Does not say it at all. Does not say that. And if it says it, we'd like to ask the question on the Mishnah. It, it, it's not a, then it, it's, it, there's, there's afterwards, there's laning, there's after, there's different things in the shul. But where's this coming from? And there's one or two other places, interesting with the Rambam, and mentions the shul sort of out of context. In Shavuos, in, in, in administering an oath, the Rambam is the first one to mention it. It's not clear, and it's brought in halacha that the minhag of administering an oath, if Bezin does, today the minhag is Bezin does not do, but if and when Bezin does, it's done in a shul, which is also, there's a certain halacha of a Sefer Torah, of a Chef Tashul Mitzvah, Shav Tusha, in, 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 the shul part is a, is a minhag that somehow the early Rishonim speak about, and the Rambam mentions it, and the Ravid argues with it. Whatever it is, it's interesting aside as to some other point about the shul. But I'd like to come back, and I'd like to, to start from the beginning, and get a sense of what is the shul. We see in the Rambam that the shul is not merely a place for davening. So what is it? Why is it? So let's go back to the word based Knesses, which I think a closer look at the word, at the word based Knesses, will give you a sense of where it's coming from. What is the difference between kibbutz, isuf, Knesses, Kanos? Really the word Kanos has two meanings that seem not at all to dovetail with each other. Um, one is a kibbutz, for instance, means to bring together as a group. So a person walks out in the field, there, is, there are many, many bits and pieces laying around, and that's being mechabets, um, bringing together from making from bits and pieces a single pile. The word osaf means osaf habaisa, he brings into the house. Konos seems to imply both together. That's one distinction that seems to be. And as we call Klal Yisrael Knesses Yisrael, which means the, 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 the group as a group, and lehi kanes means to come in. So a kenes is a gathering, and knisa is, is, the, is, is where you go in. Another shade of difference the Malbun says is that Osof is to take from the field, to, get, to gather from the field in the house, more in a sense of taking from the outside in. 
In other words, it's raining outside, so you take everything inside. It's not that everything is, is um, it, it's, it's not that it belongs inside really and so on, but it's more like taking out of the outside, whereas kenas is taking more inside. It's like, it's like when you take in something to make a, a, a stack of it that you need in the house, a pile and so on. That's how the Malvin learns it. He brings his proofs as he always does. So I'd like a little bit to get the sense of, of that special word. Um, Lech knows as Yes, the, the, that's a that's a very good place. The um, so the 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 the, the concept of Kanos would be as follows. Let's imagine if a person um, if a person has some sort of machine with many parts, and the parts are strewn about. When I put back each part into this frame that it belongs, I have a car, and somebody, as a practical joke or worse, took it apart. And I have pieces laying all over. So when I take the pieces and put each one in its place, all the pieces come together and they become one. You have a family that's been dispersed, they've lost contact or they've not been at good terms with each other, and they come home, the home is a homecoming that also brings them together. If many guests come into a home, they happen to be, they all happen to come to the home, but they're not really, I mean, they're together in, in that evening and, and so on, but they're not really um, one unit, so to speak. They never were one unit, they're not meant to be one unit. They're people that are coming and, 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 and being together. But family members, when they come home, they're coming to their place, and in the place, when everybody's in his place, they're one family also. So kanos is a remarkable term, describing a phenomena where bringing everything that belongs in its place back to its place makes everything one unit. It's a combination of the general sense of Kibbutz and Asifa. And it's also, it's also a, like the Malbum says, Asifa would mean, we, we call it Asifa. So that means a lot of people come in from the outside here. It, it's, it's not, we're not bringing them into the house, it just happens to be this is the hall where we all got together. But Kanos means I'm bringing you in. It's not I'm taking from the outside and, you ha and this just happens to be the place that's not outside. I'm bringing you inside because this is your place. So, so the Malbum's the, the, um, nuance distinction is, is a very, very true to this concept as well. So we have a musig here of Klal Yisrael is called Knesset Yisrael because Klal Yisrael, when they're dispersed, they, they're not one. They're lacking in their oneness. And they're not really Klal Yisrael, because Klal Yisrael is not a term. It's like when I, when I speak of cheese, so I have a block of cheese, and every snippet of it is also cheese. But when I speak of Klal Yisrael, I speak of the Klal. I speak of Knesset Yisrael. And when Klal Yisrael is not in its place, then we are Nidochim. You know, to, to, to be Mekanis Nitri Yisrael is because each and every piece, when it flies away from each other, is, is not one. So when we come together in Eretz Yisrael, so we become a Knesset Yisrael. We've all come home, and since each and every one of us has come home, we are one unit and so on. That's the base meaning of Kanos. We're in Gaulus, and we don't have a, a, a situation of being a cloud. But there is one place where a tzibur exists, and that is tefillah. The one place that, that, that Chazal gave us a klal is, a, a, is, is, is davening. All other mitzvahs, there's an inyan of Rabbi Moisan Sam mitzvah, and it's Rabbi Mahadis Melech, and so on. But tefillah is the only place where baked into the mitzvah is 
a, a, a different dimension of tefillah when there's a tzibur. So anytime you have a tzibur together, we need to create a place it, because you become part of one unit if you all come back to a place that's yours. And that's called Beis HaKnesses. For the tefillah itself and the enhancement of tefillah through its sibur, parking lot is good enough. I mean, there's a lot of, by the way, you, you're not supposed to dive in a place where people pass through. That is true. But, but a, a, a backyard will be fine. The Rambam says, Every place where there's, and the Ram says this halacha is one of the halachas on the tzibur, is to create a place where the tzibur comes together. And once you create that place, it, it has kedusha because it's that place. It's not just filling a, a, a need because we have many people davening, we're not going to stay in the street, we'll have to find a place for them. It's, it's creating the framework, just like in a certain sense Eretz Yisrael is the, is the framework for, for um, the Mokom for Kal Yisrael, that where Knesset Yisrael becomes Knesset Yisrael, where Akash Baruch is Mechanis Nitre Yisrael. The, the, the base Knesset is in Golos, that place. And Chazal say in Brachas that the Shechina is, is, is in the Bet Knesset, but the Knesset has seen to, to go to Yisrael, because Bet Knesset on the Mokom that is the Mokom Kinus, the place wherein different Chalakim become one unit. So the, the, that's why the Rambam, when he takes off in the Halachis, the Rambam um, he, he says, he speaks, Tfilis Tzibur is Nishmes Tomid, and Lefikr Tzach Adam Lashat Asim HaTzibur, Vleispal Yochach Zerachon Asim HaTzibur, that's the basic Halacha, and then he says, once that's true, le'olam yashkim adam v'yal beis ha'kneses. And many poskim, there's shailas in the poskim, is there an inyan to daven in shul even without a minion? Is there a preference in that? And many poskim say yes. And they come off this Rambam. Because the Rambam says, even though um, they're on, there's not a minion now, but a base kneses is the mokom at sibur, And it becomes it becomes, it, it retains some of the flavor of tzibur, some of the miles of tzibur, even if you're not there. And that's why he says, and all these halachas over here, he says a person is supposed to um, run to a base knesses. The running to the base knesses is not only, we asked, the question we asked was, well, what happens if you're not late for davening? It's not a 20 minutes of davening. So why should you run to the base knesses? The answer is because the pull to the Beis HaKnesses is the pull of a person um, to Klal Yisrael. Just like we're drawn to Eretz Yisrael, because Eretz Yisrael is the Mokom for Klal Yisrael, it's our Mokom, that's also our Mokom. And, and the Rama brings a Pasik, which is very strange. It says, Neido Nirdefa Ladas Es Hashem. We'll know to pursue HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Ladas Es Hashem. In other words, it's not for davening, but the connection and the chibut HaKadosh Baruch Hu is via Klal Yisrael. The, the, the entity that's always dovuk to HaKadosh Baruch Hu is Klal Yisrael. And therefore, it's to come together. Um, and that's true also with the other halacha that we saw in Perkir Aleph. I think the Rambam says what we say. The Rambam says, first of all, um, the city is obligated, as soon as you have 10 people there, they have a chiv to build up a saknesis. Even if they're fine with davening in somebody's basement or in somebody's backyard or whatever it is. The reason is because a beis saknesis is, is a function of the tzibur and it creates the tzibur. And, and 10 people, 10 yidin together, have to move from becoming individuals to becoming a tzibur. And the way to do it is by creating a Beis HaKnesses. Beis HaKnesses is what takes a Yechidim and makes from Yechidim a, a Tzibur. That's what a Beis HaKnesses is. The, and that's why we are, it is perfectly legitimate to explain a structure for the Beis HaKnesses because just like, let's go back to our marshal before, a, 
when a person has, let's take another example. Let's say you have these puzzles, these like three-dimensional puzzles. So you have a frame with all sorts of odd shapes, and then you have pieces that you're supposed to plug each one of these places. Beis Hamikdash has a very, very, which is the center of Kali Yisrael, has a very, very um, a, a clear, a very, very specific um, itemization of each and every utensil and uh, furnishing, so to speak, and so on. Because this is the framework, and this is where the Koyin does Avoda, and this is where the Levi does Shira, and this is where Yisrael is, does Mamodom, and this is where the Kohanim of Ha'am. Each and every element in the base of Migdash becomes a, 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 a bias. It becomes a um, receptacle for plugging in the appropriate part of Kalan Yisrael, and that together forms the Achtos. A base of is that mini function. And therefore, there's a certain tsura. The fact that you need a podium or for somebody to darshan and a table for somebody to lane, it's not because, oh, when you're going to lane on Monday and Thursday, we didn't keep safe a Torah. A basic Knesset has holes to, 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 to where you have to click places in. There's a place for Divrei Teichacha, there's a place for Divrei Teira, there's a place for Zik Zkenim, there's a place for Shar Ha'am, and so on. It's the framework of a klau. A, a klau means, it's just like if I design a building, the design comes first. We're going to need a place where to put the kitchen down, and a place for a hallway, and a place for a stairway, and so on and so forth. That is the understanding of Rambam. One more point. When the Rambam speaks in Hilchas Tainis, I think that's exactly what he means. The elders getting together and talking over the issues of the town is not an exercise in do-gooders trying to be busybodies on the Cheshm of the cloud. There are many, many people who love the type of mitzvahs of sitting in a, standing in a corner and discussing all the ills of the community and, and, um, and uh, being very quite upset about it and saying something must be done. We have a surfeit of, of those people. Um, you, you, you need the people who bear the responsibility of the tzibur. A tzibur, by definition, has people that bear the responsibility for the tzibur, and those are the skenim. But you can't be skenim of a tzibur except in the place of the tzibur. In other words, it, 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 you, in order to have the full sense of zikne ha'ir, you must have an ear. And, and, and the right place to do it is in the shul, because that's where the tzibur is a tzibur, and that's where the, 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 the zikenim are, this, are the leaders, the, the responsible people for the tzibur. So, so, so the Raman puts it in, again, whether he had a girsa somewhere or, 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 or misvar the nafshe. The point is that the people specifically, manhige at sibur are at the place where the sibur is. And the place where the sibur is, is the shul. And that's where they become the, 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 the manhigim and so on. Um, so, just briefly recapping, we've, we've, we've looked at many of the Rambam's halachas, and it's quite clear to us that the Rambam speaks about tefillah, tefillah b'tzibur, and Beis HaKnesses. Beis HaKnesses is an entity unto itself. It, it's, it's, it starts with a place for the tzibur, but it actually is the place where the tzibur becomes a tzibur. And that's why all its kedusha and all the dinim of basic nesses, the tzuras basic nesses, everything to do with the basic nesses, is not a result of the tzibur davening there. It's a prerequisite for the tzibur davening there. It's what allows the tzibur to daven there and to daven as a tzibur rather than as a chidem and so on and so forth. That's the point that we, we, we try to make in the Rambam, and we saw it in the word knesses as being um, a, a, as expressing that. I guess I would like to, being that this is a very halacha lemaisa type of, of, of learning, I would like to extend it halacha lemaisa to the areas maybe where the shahar is not specific. But still, if we've gained this understanding of basic knesses, then I think um, we need to think about some of the ramifications of it. 
And people who've, who've lived or spent time in yeshiva, um, in yeshivas that's Israel, and have been near what's called shtiblach, um, some people think that this is the most wonderful blessing that Shabbat gave in Kal Yisrael. You know, daven where you want, when you want, at what time you want. That's the most important one. And, and, um, and it's fine. You could even do, you know, people that are particularly meticulous can do three tefillahs in one shot. You can do shachas, mincha, and musaf in, in one setting where one ear is listening to, to shachas, one is mincha, one is musaf, and s- somehow you manage well. I was once standing in the Shtibach Meisharim. I was actually down mincha gedola, and there were... Um, and there was, there was shachas going on, and it was musaf, I don't remember if it was chalmoid or shchidish. And then one guy walked in, the guy was kind of, he was a little bit of a strange fellow, but he had an agenda, and he walks into every shtibl, gives a big knack, and saying, you are doing shalik halacha, you're doing shalik halacha, you're doing every single shtibl, including Mechidol, he wasn't happy with, and he wanted it to be Mechidol. But, so people kind of are very convenient. People live in big cities like New York. The, the fact that you have many shuls, they, it's seen as a blessing in disguise or not in disguise, whatever you want, when you want, how you want, no problems, no trouble, this and that. What you effectively do is you lop off the whole third piece of the Rambam. The whole Beis HaKnesses is gone. If the Beis HaKnesses is the convenience place where to have the minion, which is what you're making it into, then, it, then where's the, there's no cloud. A tzibur is not being formed by Beis Knesset. It's not a Beis Knesset, it's a Beis Tfilah. Call it a Beis Tfilah, not a Beis Knesset. And, 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 and we, don't, we mourn the loss of cloud, so as a cloud, lack of achtos, which is only possible if there's a cloud. And the only place in halacha to create achtos as a tzibur is what creates a tzibur is a base knesses. It, it's, um, it's a bracha when a community is defined by the base knesses and the person feels that way. Base knesses is a chrais, a chrais to attend the davening, a chrais to make sure the base knesses has what it needs to accommodate the people well and to bring out the best in the tefillah. We talk about achtos as if it's a separate entity, it, it, you know, as if it, 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 it deals with Bikr Cholim and things like that, which are wonderful projects. But this is the one place rooted in Halacha and, 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 and in, in, in Yiddish uh, essential religious life that the word Sibur is appended to it. The word Sibur is appended to a city, which means a defined entity that has at least 10 Yidin, they're obligated to make themselves into tzibur. And the way they make themselves into tzibur is through having a base haknesses. That's the place of mechanics is role, and that, and, and that brings, and what we have on Tulbias Gold Sedek is only base haknesses, and that's all we have. It, it's something that it, it, it means, and if, if there is a big city with a lot, a lot of shuls and, and that, that's wonderful. But people need to become members of a community. This is my tzibur, and this my tzibur means this my beknesses. Doesn't mean you're not allowed to daven somewhere else. But this is my kvias. This is if I have to, I need an early minion, late minion. But 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 it, the feeling, the sense, and these people together with me formed the tzibur. It's 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 a mutual achrayis. It's an achrayis. If a shul needs a rav, then it then 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 you need to worry and you need to get one. Um, I was at the Knesset in 1980, and there was less Knesset Dola. Maybe at BS Gold Sedek will be the last one ever. I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like I mean, 35 years is, is, is a good enough measure. It doesn't look like there's aiming for many more. And they had one evening when all the Gdolim spoke, and each one was Matsya, some, some tikkun that he felt is important. I guess in, 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 the, in, the, in the Ruach of Ziknei Ha'ir and so on. Reb Shnei Kotos spoke, and it was a remarkably prescient observation. He said, B'nai Torah are coming of age, they're, they're moving on, they're living different places, and they're forming many minyanim of chanichi yeshiva type, yotze yeshiva, b'nei yeshivas, those type of minyanim. There was a great reluctance to take on Rabbanim, because we all have smicha, we all have 
we each think we're bigger Tamcha of the other person, so who could possibly come in? So yes, if Ramesh of Faisen applies, we would definitely consider it and, and, and on merit. We would definitely feel that we could possibly accommodate. But other than that, he's a Yingaman, I'm a Yingaman, and he was very adamant. He said, it's not that surah, you must get a Rav for a shul. And this is it. In other words, understanding that Sibur builds itself around a base Knesset, and a Murada Asra is a vital part of it. And an appropriate Murada Asra, an appropriate setting in a shul, is located at Sibur. Um, we should be zeicha, to form the, the, our Sibur in a Yiddish way, which is through base Knesset. We should, um, we should bring out the best in terms of what the Knesset should be and how we should be part of it. And from the base Knesset, we should be Zeichat HaKash Baruch, should be Mechanis Nitche Yisrael, and, and uh, we should all come to, to, to the Mokum where all of Klai Yisrael is miskabits together and becomes the ultimate Sibur, the ultimate Knesset Yisrael. Batzlacha.